Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Briner, and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline. So, this is my last trip out of New York. I am currently on a two day trip. We have a layover in Hartford, Connecticut. Actually, Technically, I'm in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm actually not looking horrible today for the three hours of sleep that I got sleeping in the crew room. But today was my last day sleeping in the crew room because I will be Charlotte-based starting April 1st. Sorry, I keep moving because <laughs> the lighting literally anywhere in this room is bad and I can't stand in front of the window to film because there's a highway down there like I picked the worst room it's okay because last time I had this beautiful view of the huge monument that's in the middle of the city anyways I'm on a two-day trip today we did New York to Charlotte and the ships out of LaGuardia we did LaGuardia to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Hartford and then tomorrow we are flying from Hartford to Miami and then Miami back to New York and then I will commute back down to Charlotte and then go to Raleigh the day after that and then come back to Charlotte for Saturday because Saturday is my first day on reserve as a Charlotte based flight attendant so honestly this trip is crazy interesting I just thought I would vlog it since you know it's my last one and my friend Elijah is on this trip and he was on my trip that I did last week which is crazy because we flew together three times and he is my friend from training here's like literally the quickest room tour ever it's like two beds I already got out all of my snacks because I'm going to <laughs> eat my snacks and then take a nap um but they do this promotion here where you can spin the wheel when you get here. It's like a big, you know, one of those wheels that you spin where you win prizes. You win whatever prize it lands on. So last time I spun the wheel and I won a free dinner here. And then this time I spun the wheel and I won free club lounge access. So I'm gonna get to go to the lounge later. And I guess there's like free food and stuff up there. So that's exciting. I wasn't able to pack any food on this trip because I'm kind of planning on just settling back into my apartment in Charlotte when I get there on Saturday and then I'll like go to the grocery store and meal prep and everything but right now I have no food so I'm just gonna eat my snacks and then I guess eat whatever's in the club for dinner. The club. The club lounge for dinner. <laughs> So in my bag, I wanted to show you guys, every time that I commute, I have to pack my neck pillow, which is what I sleep on in the chair, and my blanket. So inside my suitcase, every week, I pack my neck pillow and my blanket. And everyone's always like, why is your bag so big? And I'm like, because I have, you know, a pair of shoes that aren't my fat attendant shoes, my neck pillow, my blanket. Really, I just answer and I go, well... I'm a commuter, so I have all of my stuff in there for five days on reserve. Okay, but anyway, I am going to take off my makeup, take a nap, eat my snacks, watch some TV, and then I will see y'all when I get to the club lounge. I'll show you what it looks like in there. Y'all, this is the real life of a flight attendant right here. It's 4.30 a.m. and I am headed to go work a flight to Miami right now. <laughs> and it's pretty full too. So, 6 a.m. flight to Miami. I gotta go down because the bus, the, bu the van leaves in like three minutes and I need a coffee. So, I will see y'all when we get to Miami. <sighs> All right, you guys, I am home from my trip. I'm in Charlotte now, so I'm home from my trip and I commuted home. I'm gonna have to tell you more about like the events of today, tomorrow, because I'm exhausted. I've been up since 3.40 a.m. and it is 8.05 p.m. now and I just got home. Oh my gosh, I'm looking scary in this light. I like need to eat some food, so I'm literally about to make Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna have to tell you guys about my day tomorrow because I'm so tired and I need to sleep in my own bed for like 10 to 12 hours and then I will be revived and ready to talk about my flights and how sad I am about not being New York based anymore. All right, so it has been a little while since I filmed that vlog. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys a little bit more about the transfer process or like how my airline does transfer 
pictures and then also just kind of wrap up my time in New York tell you guys a little bit about what it was like being based there and how it's gonna be different going forward for me being a Charlotte based flight attendant so basically when flight attendants have bases it's just where all of your trips originate from and end from when I was New York based every single trip that I went on originated in New York either at JFK LaGuardia or Newark I actually ended up only flying out of LaGuardia and JFK but they could have sent me to Newark that was also a possibility now that I'm Charlotte based I will have all my trips begin in Charlotte and end in Charlotte which will be really nice for me because I only live like 10-15 minutes from the airport and when I was New York based I was flying an hour and a half to work and to come back from work on my days off I do just want to say that the rumors are true everybody tells you that when you get a base that you necessarily don't want you actually will likely end up loving it that is exactly what happened with me I was not entirely bummed out when I got New York I was really trying to stay positive about about it. I knew that I probably wasn't going to get my first choice base since I was so low on the seniority list for my class. Obviously commuting up to the city and having to take the train 45 minutes from the airport to my brother's and sleeping in the crew room and everything, you know, wasn't my first choice. But everybody told me that once I got there, I was probably going to end up loving it. Same with some of my friends who got their third, fourth, fifth choice base. They thought that they weren't going to like it there and then now they love their base some of them aren't even transferring anymore because they just fell in love with their base so basically what I'm trying to say is that if you didn't get your first choice base it's gonna be okay just give it a fair chance because you might end up absolutely loving it I absolutely loved all of the people that I flew with and all of the friends that I met in New York my training class 2229 was split up into two separate groups we had rubies and we had sapphires and so at our introduction to the base meeting I didn't know a lot of the people that were in Ruby since I was in Sapphire and our classes didn't overlap too much during training but I ended up becoming really close friends with a couple of people that were in Ruby that I didn't know as well going into my base by the time that I left but quality of life wise it's just gonna be so much easier being in Charlotte because I live here and I'm a lot closer to my friends and family living in Charlotte since I am originally from Raleigh North Carolina so it was basically like the pros of training transferring here outweighed the cons of staying there and commuting while on straight reserve but ultimately I do not regret being based there at all I absolutely love New York as a base I even think that I am going to consider commuting again in the future probably when I have more of a consistent line eventually we are able to go on to a 3-1 rotation which means that we are on a line for three months and on reserve for one month at my company that's when you're about I think five years in so then it'll be a lot easier to commute because I will just have a more controllable schedule and I'll have gained some seniority by then so I don't think this is goodbye to New York for forever and also process wise I put my transfer in during training I knew that Alex and I were both planning on living here in December regardless of what base I was assigned so I went ahead and put in my transfer to Charlotte at the end of training I was not not awarded it the first round because there were so many flight attendants who were also trying to transfer who were more senior to me but the second round I was awarded my transfer I was awarded at the end of January that was when I found out that I was gonna be transferring to Charlotte starting on April 1st so with my company they do give you two months at least notice that you were awarded your transfer so that if you do have to find a new crash pad or an apartment you will have plenty of time to do so and they also will give you five settling days which is nice so that way if you're working in a different base and then you need those settling days to actually move into an apartment or a crash pad you do have that time at the end of the month before you start on reserve at your newly awarded base I did not take all five settling days because I already lived here and I already had an apartment here but that is always an option just in case you need it all right you guys I'm going to wrap up this video here thank you guys so much for watching it really means a lot to me and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it thank you again for bearing with me as my posting schedule has been a little bit inconsistent and if you ever flew with me in New York or you are one of my friends that I mentioned earlier in this video 
I just want to say thank you and I'll miss you guys so much. I'm very excited to make new friends and new memories here in Charlotte. All right, bye guys. Bye.